In the series of videos, we have been discussing about chronic bronchitis and emphysema. If you want to watch that video, the link is in the description. Now here we are going to discuss about the asthma. It's a chronic inflammation of airways in the lungs, which leads to bronchoconstriction, where smooth muscles of bronchus contract, narrowing the airways and restricting the airflow. Moreover, in asthma, we see the complications like reversible airway obstruction, airway inflammation, mucus plugging, and smooth muscle hypertrophy. The major symptoms of asthma include the breathlessness, cough, wheezing, and chest tightness. Now let's see its types. We have extrinsic and intrinsic type of asthma. The extrinsic asthma is also termed as atopic asthma. This type is most common type of asthma which is triggered by allergens, dust, mites, molds, pollen, and fire. Whereas the atopic asthma is also termed as non-atopic asthma, and this one is less common. The intrinsic asthma is triggered by vagal reflex, cold, stress, NSAIDs, that's non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, and viral infection. And when we talk about antibodies, the extrinsic asthma is classical IgE-mediated hypersensitivity. Moreover, the asthma is characterized by mast cell activation, infiltration of eosinophils, and the activation of T helper type 2 cells. And remember, in case of COPD or chronic bronchitis and emphysema, we have neutrophils involved rather than eosinophils. Here we can see how asthma can be triggered. We have an irritant like smoke. It stimulates secretory pathway where we get the inflammatory substances from immune cells. Then these inflammatory substances causes inflammation in lungs. That leads to bronchoconstriction. That is airway narrowing as we can see in the diagram. We have two cross sections of bronchioles here. One is the normal on the left. The other one is the bronchioles with asthma. And we can see it's pretty clear here how asthma narrows down the airways and we get the asthma. Now let's see the mechanism in detail. Here in this diagram we have the epithelium membrane or bronchiole. It has got some goblet cells in it shown in the diagram. Beneath it we have the basement membrane, then lamina propria followed by smooth muscle and connective tissue, and then blood vessels. We see the epithelium has secretion of mucus on its surface as shown in the diagram. In the lamina propria, we have got numerous types of cells like mast cells, eosinophils, neutrophils, T helper type 2 cells and dendritic cells. Then in the connective tissue, we can see the mucus secreting glands arise which open at basement membrane as shown in the diagram. These glands secrete mucus. So this is the histology of normal airway. Now let's see what drives the asthma and how this histology changes. First let's remove all the cells from here. Now to start the triggering pathway of asthma, we have allergens present on the epithelium membrane shown in the diagram. They come in and bind with the epithelial cells. Upon binding the epithelial cells releases TSLPs, IL-25 and IL-33. And on the other hand we have the dendritic cell. The TSLPs then binds with the dendritic cell and we get the activation of dendritic cell. And upon stimulation with TSLPs, the dendritic cell produces chemokinase like CCL17 and CCL22. These chemokinase then attract the naive T cells shown in the diagram and mediates the conversion of these naive T cells to T helper type 2 cells or simply TH2 cells. One thing to remember here is that dendritic cells also migrate to draining lymph nodes for further activation of naive T cells. Now we see we have the activated Th2 cells here. Upon activation of these T helper cells, it releases IL-13, IL-5 and IL-9. The IL-13 drives goblet cell metaplasia. The IL-5 drives eosinophil recruitment and activation whereas the IL-9 drive mast cell hyperplasia. Then furthermore, we see Th2 cell also releases the IL-4, which gets to the B cells and converts them into plasma cells, which secrete IgE antibodies. 
Now for these antibodies we have mast cells to which these IgE antibodies bind and drives the release of mediators like histamines, leukotrienes and prostaglandins. Collectively these mediators induce bronchiospasm, increase vascular permeability and increase mucus production. And ultimately we get the bronchioconstriction, thereby restricting airflow, which leads to asthma. So this is what asthma is and its triggering mechanism. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting me. Welcome back to our YouTube and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.